Hi, Aaron here, and what I'm going to talk about here really quick is how to modify your GoTech drive that has the Flash Floppy firmware for the Amiga already on it uh, to use an OLED display instead of the uh, seven-segment display. That way you get nice text showing you what disk you have selected, what track and sector it's seeking through, and all of that. Super easy modification, doesn't cost a whole lot, but what you'll need is, of course, is your GoTech that's already got the Flash Floppy firmware on that, and then you'll need an OLED uh, 0.91 inch A2C or SPI OLED display, which looks just like this little guy. And you can have these on eBay, they're about uh, three to five bucks. Um, on the back, you can see it's just got the four pins here for the serial connection. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our GoTech apart, just take three screws out on the top, just loosen them up, pop the shell top off, and inside it's a pretty simple setup we have this display module right here and it connects up to the motherboard right here so what we want to do is just take the display module out just kind of pull uh, let's go ahead and disconnect the jumper wires all right we've got that we also need to disconnect them here on the board because they go horizontal and we want them to go vertical and the main reason is just it's a lot easier to wire and the uh, pinout is slightly different here so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two different wires, and mine are yellow and blue, yours might be red and white. I don't know if there's any convention to that, but I'm just going to kind of go with this convention. So what I'm going to do is, if you look here, the ones that are one away from the, the uh, this board right here, this middle set, I'm going to put the yellow on the top and the blue on the bottom. So just like that. And I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. Okay. So now that we have this done, what we need to do is actually connect this up to our OLED display. So what I'm going to do is kind of swing this around so maybe it's a little bit more. Now it's kind of confusing here, but what I'm going to do then is, is show you the... Uh, the one here that's the closest to the motherboard that has the uh, yellow on the top and the blue right here, I am going to connect the yellow side up on the very top of this OLED display. So here this is facing me, and you can see that the yellow is on the top. I guess if I swing it around so you can actually see it, that's what that looks like. The next set of connectors, this one, which is this far one all the way away from the board. I am going to basically reverse that and have the blue side be on the, the uh, top and the yellow side be on the bottom. And it's just like, like this here. Now make sure you get this right because if you don't, you'll be putting voltage into this thing backwards and you will fry this. So then let's go ahead and test this out in the good old fashioned Amiga here that's all torn to pieces. So we'll go ahead and plug our connector up. And we'll get this all done. Plug a little flash drive in. How about not a little flash drive? And let's go ahead and power her on. And if we did it right, we'll see it says flash floppy. And then it'll go and start showing you whatever disk that you've selected, which I mean, I have the workbench disk, so. And it's super clear and crisp. But that's pretty much the mod. Easy, easy. The next step I'll be doing is taking this uh, 3D printed GoTech frame and cutting this out more to fit in this OLED, taking this out, and then mounting this into the 500 so that way I have a nice clean install with no cutting. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope that helps.